Good evening. Hundreds of workers are reeling tonight after being told they'll lose their jobs with the country's biggest food producer. Premier Foods own top brands including Ambrosia, Mr Kipling and Oxo, familiar products on the shelves of every supermarket. But the company is desperate to cut costs and it's ending production of Hovis in Birmingham with the loss of 500 jobs. The bakery has been a major employer for almost 50 years. More now from Kath Mackey. Hovis, it was and is an iconic brand. It's as good for you today as it's always been. A company proud of its history, but a company with no future, it seems, in Birmingham. News broke this morning that the Garrett's Green Bakery and Distribution Centre is to close and shock spread through the 511 strong workforce. Devastated. I, didn't, I mean, we knew they were in financial difficulties, but uh, we didn't know how bad it was. There's mortgages, uh, rent, uh, just a basic living, and where are you going to find another job? The decision to close was made after the firm lost a £75 million a year contract with a co-op. The volume that we've lost is significant. A considerable amount of that goes through the Birmingham site specifically, so that, in effect, is the reason why Birmingham has been selected. The response from Westminster and the unions was rapid. Some of the people here have worked here 30, 40 years. You know, that this is, there's whole families work on this site and, and, and it's going to be a body blow to the entire area. The reality is people will still be eating bread. Brummies can still bake bread. I'm going to discuss the issue with the co-op. Let's not give up before we start. The other issue here is the supermarket wars, the fight to keep down the cost of a loaf. Hovis's parent company, Premier Foods, came up with an interesting spin on today's announcement. It's a way, they say, of building value in their bread business. It's a bit of a, a, a tough message, isn't it? Good day for shareholders, bad for workers. Uh, it, it is a tough message. Uh, we're in a tough industry. The bread market is very competitive. Um, we clearly need to figure out how we drive sustainable, profitable growth for, for the Hovis brand and the, and the business as a whole. Um, clearly, as a result of, of a volume drop, we need to take you know, a difficult but a necessary decision. It's reported that the co-op contract was won by Allied Bakeries, which has a factory in West Bromwich, but they've declined to comment. Unions are meeting tomorrow to plan their response to the Hovis announcement. The company will carry out a three-month consultation on these proposals, as it is legally obliged to do. But the chances are this factory that's been here for nearly 50 years will close next spring. Kath Mackey, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, the closure will have a major impact in a part of Birmingham where jobs are hard to find. Our reporter Kevin Reid has spent the day in and around Garrett's Green, where the Hovis Bakery has played a big part in the working lives of many families. For Michaela Langsford and her husband Tim, this morning's announcement from Hovis came as a complete shock. We heard it on the news and I, I says to Tim, I says, no, I says, you've got that wrong. Then he went over and turned the news up and... That's when we heard it was Garrett's Green in Birmingham, where Tim works. This time last year, Michaela herself was being made redundant from a job of 15 years at another Birmingham firm. She now sells merchandise from home for a much smaller income. And with her soon-to-be unemployed husband, she's wondering how they'll cope. It's been on my mind all morning. I haven't thought about anything else. The effects that it's going to have, not just on me. I've got two children, you know, I've got two grandchildren. I just, I think you have to leave each day as it comes and just cope the best way you can. Meanwhile, here at the Poolway Shopping Centre, a stone's throw from the Hovis factory, you can already see the effects of the economic downturn with so many shops closed. And traders and shoppers here are certainly not looking forward to the prospect of so many more job losses. The shopkeepers are going to suffer. Everybody's going to suffer, I'm sure they are. And even though they're saying that um, unemployment has gone down, I don't think it has, and this is just going to make it worse. It's a shame, really, because it's near Christmas time, you know, and a lot of people are going to suffer. It's like a ghost thing. <laughs> it's just gone. Meanwhile, back at Michaela Langsford's home, she's left wondering what the future holds. You've still got to pay your rent at the end of the month. I don't care your mortgage, your gas, your electric, your water rates, your TV licence, nothing's coming down, everything's going up. Yet we're getting less money, but everything's going up. People can't cope with it anymore. They just can't cope. Kevin Reid, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. 
Well, we're joined now by our business correspondent, Peter Plisner. Uh, Peter, what's gone wrong? I mean, Hove is such a well-known brand, uh, and, and the whole company, Premier Foods, what has gone wrong? Well, many say they just expanded too quickly. They bought major brands, borrowed money to buy those brands, built up a huge portfolio of debt, and they also made losses. And uh, we're told there's also a pension fund deficit, so a sort of recipe for disaster, some would say. Now, the reports that uh, the company was worth £2.5 billion five years ago, now just £100 189 million pounds and that's a, a shadow of its former self and of course this latest cost cutting measure is uh, resulting in the closure of Birmingham, the Birmingham factory and uh, the loss of that co-op contract seems to have been the final straw. And it seems to have come as an enormous shock. Indeed, uh, but some say, you know, we were facing a major cost-cutting exercise within the group, within the bread division, a new strategy was being worked out, the axe had to fall somewhere. It's been described as a simplification of the bread division with a smaller distribution network and uh, they'd already closed one bakery in Eastleigh. But uh, workers we spoke to tonight outside the Birmingham factory seemed very shocked. I'm very upset because I'm not happy. This space is your dark. Go find another job or something, you know. It is a bit of bad news, it's closing. It's, you know, recently started, it's been three months. Other than that, what can you do? Been working here for about 20 years now, and it's very hard to get a job outside, so we don't know what's going to happen. It's a sad day, a couple of weeks to before Christmas. Happy Christmas, lads. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happens now, Peter? Well, the unions say they are meeting management tomorrow to discuss these proposals, and they are just proposals at the moment. Uh, what they'll be, as you heard in Kath's film, there'll be a three-month consultation process at which uh, other ideas could be brought into the melting pot and, and some jobs may be saved, but ultimately it does look like this factory will close. Peter, thank you. Coming up later in the programme, we'll